my lovelies, how are you doing today? I have a super <coughs> excited ring. How excited are you? I'm excited I haven't even got out of my work clothes. So I've still got paint on my hands and I haven't got time to do all that nonsense. Guess what? Some things have arrived in the post today. What are they, Wink? What have know. you got? I don't know. I don't know. Bits for my, bits for my project. His project. Yay! Hello! Yay! Hiya, miss! How are you doing? Hi, Lise! <laughs> Yay! Hello, Canada! Canada's watching. So, they can't see, darling. You have to move it. They can't see. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to make it so that you can see. I could hold it, but it will be a rocky ride. Here he is, opening some stuff. So, this is the box to make the amplifier out of. So how excited are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Sorry, 10. 10. 10. <laughs> Let me see. Oh. So that's my old cigar box. So that's going to be the amplifier. Can a I smell? No, I have to smell it, please. Oh, it smells lovely, doesn't it? What does it say there? W.A. Scott. It's from Norwich. Oh, there we go. There we go. So that's going to be the little amplifier. The speaker in there and stuff and the little knob. <laughs> Darling, am I allowed to touch it? You can touch it. <laughs> I know. He gets really excited at opening things. I've been on, we've had a note on our door saying that we might be in the garden so we don't miss any deliveries. What's that? It's the pickup. The pickup. Whatever that is. Picks Done. up the noise from the strings. Picks up the noise from the strings. And then... Oh, that's my little sound box. That's the little hole for the sound cover. That's gonna go like a nice little made wooden thingy that someone made for me. That's down there. <laughs> Come to Florida, I'm a great cook. Make me dinner. Uh -oh. Make you dinner. Beautiful scarf box. Isn't it lovely? thing on it. Whee. What have you got there? That's the bridge. The bridge? <laughs> like a biscuit. I can put, yeah. all, I can put all these bits I won't in give there. it to the pigs, they'll yeah. annihilate it. I think this, this is cool. That is hard to see. It's hard to see but you can see it on that side. That is a little 18 the camera's this side 1888 or something 1898 it's a one cent coin from america that i'm gonna i'm not in the picture because of that i'm gonna put that in i'm gonna lay that into it somewhere it may even lay is that this. copper i don't know it's got the date on it doesn't it oh it, we can't see the date can you see that it's got a little indian a uh, uh, red Indian with a headdress on it and it's 1886 and on the other side it has this. It's really hard to see. I know, well, I'm going to use the Indian side because that's cool. The Indian side. I've actually seen the guitar cigar box online for $50 American but and it's fading! The comments fade so quickly. Indian head penny. Yeah. There you go Suzanne says it's an Indian head penny. It's really lovely. I, I, don't, I can't make you sit there, there. Can you see it now? Ooh. That's really lovely, isn't it? These oh, are, the long one. These are the machine heads or the tuning bits. Tuning heads. As people might know. Oh, what are they made of? I don't know. They look nice though. They're like mother of pearl. Yeah. They're kind of pearlized. Can you see that look? Darling, can I take it out of the plastic? I expect so. I expect so. I'm going to have to open something. Strings! Cigar, guitar box, cigar box, guitar strings. Cigar box, guitar strings. He's a bit quick with those, look. Whoa, look and at that. This is a bit where I have cheated slightly because... Your I've... wound locks look so much better from Toronto. What's... Mm. I don't know what you mean by that, your round locks. Maybe that's what they mean. Round locks. Yeah. And then this, you see, I've, oh, I've cheated slightly because Doesn't making the next up. the hardest bit. So I thought the first one I'll make, I'll make it 
I'll get a ready-made neck. Do you want me to tilt yeah, it up? Tilt it up a bit. I thought I'll get a ready-made neck. It's like a blank, but it's already got the frets in it, so that I don't mess that bit up. <laughs> that And a lady made this for me on eBay. I spoke to her and she made it for me. Wow. This goes. And it's all got to be drilled and mounted and all the everything else done, but. Let's pick up. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's mahogany, isn't it? Uh, I can't remember what type of wood it is. God, it's really long, isn't it? Yeah, well, it goes through the guitar, it goes through the cigar box as well. Don't forget, it'll have the cigar box on next. Frets on it already. It's just a blank one. So that's all going to go in the cigar box when I get it, which is. Oh, it smells lovely. Where's, that? Where's my blank? See, this is this is the, this is the size oh, of the. Smell it. Smell how gorgeous it smells. Mm. Mm. So this is the actual. This is the gorgeous. size of the box I've got coming, and I was marking out where things are going to go. So the so the neck will go. Thanks, Pam. The neck will Yay. go somewhere around here, so it'll be kind of. Well, it looks really long like that, doesn't it? But it'd be like that. It does look really long. Yeah. So where does this go? This goes here. It says that you can cut it down because it depends from the 12th fret. Yeah, that goes can in there. Can they see? Yeah. That will go there. Somewhere. And I'll have to cut it all to length and stuff. What's this? A screw. That is, is the nut. The nut? For all those who know about guitars, it's the nut. But it's basically a piece of threaded bar, like a like a stud. It just sits on the top and the Almost strings. Almost Japanese. And the strings go over it. So I can put all these bits in my box. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, are you really excited? Dan, I was excited. Dan, I was excited. So excited. Excited. Yeah. So all you're waiting for now is that what else is still to come? <laughs> What's still to come? The cigar box. Hello, Julia. Julia's saying hello. Hello. Yeah, the cigar box I'm still waiting for. And I've got to drill all the holes in this for the machine heads, and I've got to make this the right length and measure the scale and then work out where the bridge has got to go, which is probably somewhere around there. Right. And then put it on the box, and then put it all together and wire it all up and make the amp, which is all going in here. I've got the amp coming from America. I can't see that because it's out of shot. Yeah, so all the so the little amp kit I've got, which has got the speaker and all the electronics, is all going to go in there. And I know, little, neither can I, Selena. And that'll be my little box with a little amplifier, which will look really cool as a little wooden box amplifier. Winks will be better than the ones we saw in the store. Hey, yeah. Debs, how you doing, sweetheart? Yeah. Why don't you show them your Dinkerson you made when you were how old? I was twenty, about twenty-five when I made that. 25, I don't know if you can hear Wink because he mumbles sometimes. Darling mumbly? It's probably a bit dusty. So this is a guitar, this is one I made earlier. So I made this, I made this completely from scratch. I made the fretboard and made every single little piece of this from He's scratch. Doing a bit of housework. The neck's made out of um, maple floorboards from an old dance floor. And there's a mahogany body and it's all my own design and everything is all handmade and everything. I've never actually played this on stage. I've only ever had it hanging up, but it does all work and everything. So that was my first. So I could make the neck because I have made one before, but I just thought I'll get one ready done because. Does it play? Because I can't wait. Yeah, it's probably not in tune. Well, it's nearly in tune. Yeah. It does work. It does work. Yeah. And what have you got on it? What? Is it called the Dinkerson? It's called the Dinkerson. Because that's my little stage name, Wink Dinkerson. Wink Dinkerson. <laughs> so they can't read that because it's up the wrong way. Yeah, well, that oh. way. That's upside down. Yeah. It says Dinkerson. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. It looks great on the wall. Yeah. So now I'm going to build another one. And then once I've built this to the cigar box, I should imagine I'll build more. Cause He's really like, into it. Yeah, because I like making things. <laughs> I'm sorry I've missed the comments because I'm looking at Wink. It's hanging back up on the wall. It's hanging on the wall. Oh, that sounds nice, that guitar. It's got a nice tone to it. Yeah. 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 It does all work and everything. It's a proper electric guitar. So, uh, is it I made that in evening classes years ago. How, how old were you then? 
Uh, well, it was when I was in Eagle and the Worm still, so I would have been about 20, 25, 26 when I made that, so it's probably nearly 30 years old now. Wow. 20, 27 It is years very old. nice, isn't it, Gail? Mm. He's really clever, actually. He makes some fantastic things. Um, the first thing he's got to do before he starts making this is he's got to tidy his shed up because it looks like a bomb has gone off in there, doesn't it? It is a bit of a mess. It is a bit of a mess. So we'll do a, we'll do a fast motion of you clearing up and getting ready to make it and we'll, we'll video all the making of it. Have you? Mm. Yay! Can't read that. Just watch one of Dr G's videos. Mm. Willie Nelson. <laughs> so when do we start putting... Oh, it faded away. When do, when do you start putting something? Sorry, I didn't see that. Well, actually, Dr. Gilmore and I have a bit of a surprise for you later on today. Mm, we put all these bits Doctor, in yeah, we're really well, thanks, Janice. Yay! Thank you. You take care too. Um, yeah, I was talking with um, Dr. Gilmore last night, um, as some of you, if you were on Facebook, would have known. Um, and we were trying to work out how to do a kind of a double live. I don't know. It's probably be. It'll be YouTube with both of us on the screen having a chat. Stitches are coming out Monday unless Dr McDreamy says otherwise. Uh, but I haven't checked my emails today because I've been working on my book that I'm writing. So I have not looked at social media today. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he emailed me um, earlier today saying that he's worked out a way that both of us can be side by side on the screen having a conversation live um, in his, I think he's doing it on his vignettes, and he's also worked out how it can simultaneously go live on my channel as well. Yahoo! I know, I'm so excited. I just said, I'll leave the te technology up to you. These are really nice, aren't they? Yeah, they are really nice. Mother of Pearl bits. Mother of Pearl, they look really nice. He's still, yeah. he's still on his guitar. Um, and yeah, so we're, he's gonna come on six o'clock Houston time, which is midnight UK time. Yeah, that is really exciting because we had a fascinating conversation about nutrition um, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I don't know what we'll talk about tonight, but we'll be talking to all of you guys. What's going on with my nose? I don't know, I've got something up my nose. Dying something on my nose. I've something up my nose. I've got something, I've been, it's probably straw, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, I've got something up my nose. I'm going to remove the thing up my nose because that's not a good look for live anything. Dying, is it gone? I think so. Yeah, it's gone. The thing up my nose is gone. <laughs> Bogey's up my nose. Is that it? Is that everything? Well, everything. That's quite a lot. It is a lot. It is a lot. He's been like, has, any, darling, has anything come for me in the post yet? No, nothing yet. No. So, um, yeah, we're just waiting. Um, Leanne has sent a cigar box, which is going to make the body of the guitar. So we're waiting for that to come. I know it's in transit, isn't it? Apparently so. Um, and it's got some goodies inside it. So when we when that arrives, hello, hey, who got it met you? It's Holland. Yeah, I don't know. Holland. I want to see those stitches come out. Yeah, I know he is very hot, isn't he? I've actually been thinking about how we're going to be able to video us being live together, and you see the stitches. Oh. It's there. Can you see it now? Can you see it now? What if I shine a light on there it? There you go, hold it at an angle, there you go. You can see it angle, now. Angle. Mm. Don't want to use my torch. Here, look. If I shine the torch like that... It's just a big blur. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. So I can either... The, the little American coin is either going to go... Maybe on the, on the top of the neck. I thought it might look quite cool on the neck there. Yeah. Or I might... Or... Or I might mount it to my sound He's been talking cover. about this non-stop. Hey, hi North Carolina, hi Dee, how are you doing? Perfect. Yay! So my might... dad served in Holland in World War Two, and well, he loved to play. I might mount it play. in the middle of my little sound hole cover, which might look really cool with a little penny Wink's dad is from Amsterdam. He was evacuated when he was eight at the start of the war, wasn't he? Yes. Where was he evacuated to? Um, Tetzel. Tetzel? Yeah. Do you think it would be better if you put that in the cover it came in, just in case? Because, you know, we we'll have this. Oh, no. no. It won't go back in it, because it was like... A... Oh, right, OK. I'll let you off then. No, I'll put it we'll somewhere. keep the bit of paper, though. I'll he went to Tetzel. Yeah. Hey, hello, Pennsylvania. Hi, Cathy. How are you going? He was smuggled out to Tetzel on a barge. 
Yeah. And he was there, like till the end of the war, when the the German garrison on the island were Georgian soldiers. They were from George. They were Georgians, so they joined the German army. But when they realised that the war was about to end, and that um, Germany was going to lose, they decided. So they killed all their German officers and declared Tetzel a free country. Right. And the Germans were really peed off about it. And Angry. sent a whole garrison to the island to kill everybody. Wow. And my dad ended up hiding a Georgian soldier and he's made a little film about it and stuff and he's like at the, at the old schoolhouse where they were lined up and there's all bullet holes in the wall and everything and he was like where the, where the Germans were shooting at them and yeah he's got some quite interesting stories like that. Yeah dad. he wrote a book he and, it, and a he's book. a very fascinating man. He was a broadcaster wasn't he for yeah, he was, Dutch television. He was the London correspondent for Dutch television. Yeah it was a scary time. My late father was from Amsterdam. We have some great photos where you can see the German soldiers. Yeah, yeah. there's a picture of your dad, isn't there? Kind of on the day he was evacuated, standing yeah. with his mum or something, was he? Yeah, and his favourite aeroplane is the Mosquito because the Gestapo set up when he was in Amsterdam, the, the, the Gestapo set up their headquarters in his school and the Mosquitoes Thanks, came over and did a raid and bombed his school, basically, to bomb the Gestapo headquarters and he didn't have to go to school again because they bombed his school, so he likes mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> My back's doing fine today. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna ch do, we're, I'm gonna change the dressing later. Uh, I'm gonna have a shower and, um, you know, that'll be nice, so I'm gonna do that. So we're just doing this unboxing I think, I of the Gita. We are unboxed. You're unboxed, you're officially unboxed. We are unboxed. We're full of wrapping, he's saving it all. I could keep the bubble wrap, it's always handy. Keep the bubble wrap. We've got acres of bubble wrap. No, we haven't. I used to load it up. Send me that last thing that I sold on eBay yesterday. Oh, uh -huh. right. Okay. Aha. I'm right. wrong. That doesn't happen often. All done. Yeah, it's not a sore today. Um, yeah, the war was a very scary time for lots of people, and it's a fascinating thing to look back on. Uh, World War Two and anything aeroplane is Wink's bag, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Who moves? Mm-hmm. Who moves? Yes. 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 Okay. Right. Any, anything else? No, I need to go and play with these things now. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go and play. Oh, I missed that comment. I'm sorry, I'm not watching the comment. Hi, hi, Sylvia Hayding. Hi, Mary Beth. My husband's family too. Oh, my dad was in the underground, so he and mum would get food from the farms. Hi, Sue from Cyprus. Hello, Cyprus. Yeah, I'm doing really well. Wink looks a happy boy. Yes, he is. See, look, he's like away with the fairies now. He's just, it's just going to be guitars all night. Go about there. Yes, you will. Oh, thank you, my lovely. Yeah, we will be back later doing the dressing, won't we? But yeah. Wink's going to have to do some playing with the um, guitar. Yeah, so the ridge will be about there. See, it's, it's, and it's, it's, and I'll it's, cut that bit off. He'll just chat away, asking questions, and I'll try and answer them. And he's not really asking me any questions. He's just working things out in his head. Yeah. Darling, look at your smile. That's your smile when you're a little boy. Your big smile. That's my big kid smile. Yeah, it's, a, it's like Wallace and Gromit smile. That's all excited. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to jump up and down? No. You're not that excited? I do that much. <laughs> right. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, it's a big smile. That's his big smile. And you would be able to see it more if his moustache wasn't hot off the painting and decorating <laughs> from today, because you've just come in. I have just come in. He's just come in. And we thought we'd share that with you. So, all that remains for me to say is, I don't even know what time it is, it's nearly midday in Houston. So, have really good mornings in the States and Canada and afternoons. Have fabulous, I hope you're sleeping well in Australia and New Zealand and um, looking forward to a lovely evening in Europe and Cyprus. I think Cyprus is two hours ahead of us so I don't even know what time it is now. What time is it now? I don't know. Quelle heure est-il? It must be about half past five or something. Half past five. It's quarter to six. Quarter to six. It's probably quarter to eight in Cyprus. Guess. Yes, Wink's beard. He's done some topiary on his beard. Done any moustaches all over the place. Well, it's, it's all dusty. Dusty. It isn't dusty. There you go. Now you can do your big smile and never have to see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Right, okay, we're gonna go. Not, not sleeping. Where are you based? Not sleep. Was that Pennsylvania, did you say? Nova Scotia, Canada, 1.45. Yes, yeah, so you're a couple of hours ahead then. Um, or an, a 12.45, 1.40. Yeah, two hours ahead of Houston. Yeah, it's very nice, isn't it? And it smells glorious. So the, I uh, no doubt it's going to be in the front room. Is it going to be in the lounge? Yeah, I'll be playing it when it's done. No, but are you going to keep? Are you going to keep this this lovely smelling piece of timber? Well, I can do. Yeah. Because it will make it smell really nice. Australia. Oh right. What time is it in Australia the then? The lady's done a really nice job of it. I hope you see my message. Uh, what message was that, Jennifer? Yee. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Hello. Houston, 11.45. Yeah, I've got my Fitbit still on Houston time, see? 11.45. Moustache wax. He doesn't wax it up for work, because the painting... 2 a.m. You are a late-night bird, Anne. Just like me, actually. I'm a late-night bird. And it'll be another late one tonight, because I'm not going to even start the live with um, until midnight this time. 5 a.m. in the east. Oh, gosh, yes, of course, there's probably different time zones in Australia, isn't there? I just kind of have it set to Sydney because my brother and sister live in Sydney. Um, so I always kind of like to know what time it is there. I think they're usually 11 hours ahead. Depends, actually. It's better in the summer. 9.45 a.m. in California. Oh, there's quite a... So it is morning and it's kind of mid-morning and late morning um, where you are. Musco... Muscogee... 11.46, so you're that same side then. It's about It was about 10 to 12 comments up. Right, I'll have to look because they fade. Oh, hang on, 10 to 12 comments up. Oh, now I can't see. That's really boring for you because you've got my thumb, haven't you? 10 to 12 comments. Jennifer, 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 Jennifer. Let's look for your comment. I hope you see my message. J, 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 J. <gasps> Been praying for you and wink, even and even the doctors. I didn't go through quite what you're going with something in the same area as well. And my God, bless you. Oh, I'm really sorry for what you're going through. I can totally relate, is what I can say. In fact, I met today, I met a friend of mine who has Parkinson's. She used to have um, a florist business where she would, you know, make, she used to do it from home. She didn't have a shop, but she used to, uh, she's absolutely fabulously talented. And she's going to make a wreath for our neighbour, Noreen. And I went to see her today, and she used to be a nurse. And it was a very illuminating conversation, because she's watched some of the videos. And she was just like, that shouldn't have happened. So, um, yeah. Okay, cheerio, Eileen. Oh, was that Eileen, Eileen, Eileen? Hey. Okay, have fabulous days. Enjoy your days at work. Those of you who are heading off to work. Um, okay, I'm just rambling on. So I hope to see some of you at six o'clock Houston time. So that'll be six, eight o'clock other times. It will be two in the morning in some parts of Europe. Um, it will be in the morning, like when people are actually up in Australia. Um, so uh, yeah, look out for that. It's gonna be, um, I think it's, it, yeah, I know it's gonna be Dr. Gilmore's vignettes. Cystic fibrosis, and I'm trying to help. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Come on, comments. And I'm trying to help get four meds in your land. For meds in your land. Uh, good luck with that, Lisa. I hope that goes well for you. Let, let us know, and you know all the lovelies on here will pray for you and send you positive vibes. I wonder why they just fade away. Yay! Hi, Katrina. How are you doing? You will be watching. So yeah, it'll be on his vignettes channel and it'll be on my only channel. Yes, we will have a fabulous evening ahead of us. I'm going to get in the shower, I think, and I'm going to cook some lovely vegetables for my supper. Okay, Mwah. I hope you enjoyed that. We said we'd share it with you and we have. And we had to wait to wait for them before we got the video done. It was like, hurry up, hurry up. Won't you, darling? Yes. 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 Mwah. Okay, lots of love. See you later. It'll be 10 p.m. Okay, right, so you know the times. Uh, tune in and we would love to have a good old chat with you live. It'll be really good fun. Okay, bye. Lots of love. Mwah. And goodbye from him. Bye from me. The excited little boy. <laughs> I love you too. You are just the loveliest lovelies ever. I don't know what my, I don't know what I'd do.
I couldn't imagine not having all my lovely lovelies. Dan, it's just a good excuse for you to talk, isn't it? Yeah, I like talking. <laughs> Dan, say goodbye. Okay, bye bye. Mwah! And it's the X. Give those piglets. I will. They're in bed now. Well, they're not. They're eating in the dark. Yep, doing really well. I'll, we'll come on later with the old bandage saga for you. The carrots are still in the fridge. Would you like to see the carrots? <laughs> I can't bear to eat them, separate them. I don't know what to do with them. Look at that beautiful hug. You can even, you can hear that guy's thoughts. It's such How a... How do you know that's the bloke? Well, I don't know. I think because he's got a longer neck. Maybe that's the woman. I don't know. It's really good. Hey, Belfast, how are you doing? The one really one with, with his mouth open talking. <laughs> 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 so whichever carrot, it's that, that's the carrot, is that the woman then with her mouth open talking? So that's obviously <laughs> the woman and this is the man. I don't know. But they're lovely, aren't they? Grown together. I know, I love these carrots. I have. I've posted it on Facebook, so it'll come up next year as one of my memories. Um, I think I should eat them. Do you think I should eat them? Because it would just be awful if they were... They, see, that's quite looser now because they're beginning to shrink in the fridge. But um, And that one's split. I don't think it was split before. Dice, anyway, advice, anyway, they're lovely. <laughs> Lovely carrots. Mwah. Um, yeah, I know. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one.